Hi you guys, today I wanted to bring back an old series I used to do called Project Use It Up. I'm not gonna go as intense as I once was just because I don't have as much of a like compulsive shopping and kind of hoarding issue as I once did. I remember the days when I had a just a cabinet full of Bath and Body Works and all this stuff just because I bought it at a faster rate than I used it. And I still do have things that I have like backups for and um, everything, but not to that extreme. So, but I did, I was just watching some on YouTube tonight and I was like, oh God, I miss that. So I want to do a project, use it up. Um, I picked 10 products here. I feel like I'm going in and out of focus there. Um, 10 products that I want to use up. So I thought I would just share with you guys what the starting point is and kind of where I would like to go with them. So Let's just start, I have three makeup items and then we'll go into the rest of everything. But for the makeup, the first one is this powder. Um, so this is the number seven uh, translucent perfect light loose powder. I like it, it's not my favorite powder, but I was kind of in a pinch. So I have it marked here, I have an arrow so I know which way I was tapping it. And then this line is pretty much where I'm at. Now with loose powders, I very rarely use up literally everything, but I have about half of this left. So I wanted to make it a focus to use this. I recently picked up my favorite powder on sale. It's the Tarte Smooth Operator, um, this one. <laughs> Um, so I just picked this up from the Sephora sale, but I want to save it for when I need it a little bit more. Um, so basically I'll be using this when I'm home and like working from the office. When I'm traveling, I bring my good powder with me. Um, moving on, I have a face primer. So this is the Cover FX Mattifying Primer and it has acne treatment with it. I like this. Um, but I'm just trying to use it up because I want to try a couple of other primers. So, but I don't want to accumulate. Remember we talked about that. So this is where I am at, um, about halfway, maybe, maybe a little bit more than halfway. So this is going to be the main primer I'm using. I do bring this with me when I travel. Um, so I don't think it'll be an issue and this is something that I can use up. And then the last product is this lip gloss. Um, this is the Buxom Full On Lip Gloss, and this is White Russian. I really love it. I have it on my lips today. Um, and I just feel like I'm getting kind of close to finishing this, so I'd like to finish it up. Um, so my line is here. So maybe, um, I don't know, another month or two on this guy. Kind of depends, you know, how many times you reapply. But I do really like this. Um, I just, you know, saw that I was getting close, so I thought, why not finish it up? Um, and then I can purchase either another one or a different brand or something, but I do like that one. It's not that I dislike it. So that's kind of it for my makeup. Let's move into skincare. I have a couple of skincare products. The first one here is a micellar water. This is the Yes to Cotton. I don't even think they make this anymore. I got it on sale at one point in time, which makes me scared to know how old this is. Um, I don't really use it to remove makeup. I don't really like it that way, but I will use it as my morning cleanse. Usually I just splash water on my face, but I have this and I'm trying to get it out of my life. So I am down to here. Um, so I don't have that much left. I usually take, you know, like two or three pumps in the morning. So I feel like it'll go quickly. Um, I do not pack this to travel with me. Um, this is just an at home product, which I travel for work, so that's why I keep mentioning the travel aspect, and I'm going on a vacation here soon, so this is not something I'll be packing and bringing with me, but it is something that I'll have at home to work on, and I don't really have a time frame for this project. I just would like to kind of be tracking and working on things and have another kind of regular video here for you guys, which, speaking of which, um, before I move on to the next products, let me know how often you would like to see updates like do you like monthly do you like every other month every six weeks like kind of what ballpark is your sweet spot um, let me know down below so I can kind of accommodate so the next thing here is a moisturizer this is the Osea Atmos protection cream this is a really really nice moisturizer I got it in a petite bore box before I canceled it for a while um, I do think I'll start it back up I'm thinking about having that be the Christmas gift to myself this year and get myself the annual subscription for next year because I really enjoy getting those boxes but anyway um, this is the moisturizer I've been using this summer with the heat and I really like it I think it will work for me into the winter as well just maybe not like the depths of winter you know like end of December January February I live in Minnesota so like 
that season is real cold. The whole like September, October, November isn't so bad. So this is the moisturizer I want to be using until my skin needs a little bit more. Um, and I am right about here. So right kind of after this first blurb. Um, so yeah, that is the product. And I do squirt this into a travel size container to bring with me. So um, there is a little bit in a little jar, but not like a ton that would make a difference in the line here. Okay, the other skincare product I have is a mask. This is from Lush. This is the Mask of Magna Minty. And this is the self-preserving formula, which I'm happy I got. I really do enjoy this face mask. Um, it's like a mint chip kind of situation. <laughs> like it smells minty. It looks like mint chip. Um, it's got these little grains in them. I really like this mask because I feel like it does help clarify my skin, but it doesn't dry it out. Like when I rinse it off, my skin just feels so nice. So this is one of my favorite masks to use in the bath, which I've been trying to do a bath about once a week, but it doesn't always happen. So this is the mask I would like to be focusing on and I probably will end up repurchasing it because I do really enjoy it, but it's just something that even though it's self-preserving, I know it's a little bit more on the natural side and I would like to um, keep using it. I would say like when it's expired, but I've rubbed off that part of the sticker. So I can't really tell you, <laughs> but that is the other skincare product. Um, okay. The last kind of skincare, but I use as body care product is this, um, toner. This is the Mario Badescu glycolic acid toner. So I have my line marked over here on the side. Um, I have been using this on the backs of my arms and the tops of my legs. I have recently noticed that I have a flare-up of um, KP. So I've been using this and it really does help. I don't use it every day, but maybe like every other day on those areas. And it really does minimize the appearance and um, like just by looking at it, but also feeling it, they feel like those areas feel a lot smoother. So I do think this works um, from all the research I've done. It does say that, you know, like a chemical exfoliant such as this with an acid can be helpful. So I've had great success with this. Um, and this is something that I do have a little travel container that I just emptied to pour in here for more accurate reading. But this is, I do travel with this. So I'll be packing some up in this little container and bringing it back on the road with me to continue with that routine and make sure that I'm seeing the progress I want to see there. So it's a skincare product, but I don't really use it on my face. I use it on my body. Okay, I just have a couple more products. So the first one here is a hairspray. This is a little sample size. I honestly couldn't tell you where I got it, but it's the Healthy Sexy Hair um, Touchable Hairspray. It's just a little travel size. I don't use a ton of hairspray, but um, I do wanna just start throwing this in my bag when I am traveling, because I feel like there are times where I do want to use hairspray. I do my hair a little bit more, you know, than this when I'm traveling and in front of my customers. So I just wanna put this in my bag and try to use it up. And then the last thing is kind of body care. So I have this little tray here in front of me. We're going to start with the body wash. So I really, really like the Lush um, body washes, the solid one. So I have a few cut up here. They do have some crystals on them because they are starting to dry out. Um, and also the algae in the product kind of has this crystal reaction. So it's not bad. It's not mold. It's purely just crystals. Um, from the air, but I do want to use these up. So I have six slices here. This one on the back here is kind of small, but basically it's just bar soap. Um, it's a little bit more moisturizing and has fun fruity smells, but this is what I use. So I have it sliced up and then this is what I use in the shower. I've also been using this um, to spot clean my beauty blender every day. I do it in the morning when I'm getting it damp so I can get all this junk off. So I'm using these pretty frequently and I would like to keep using them up. So I would like to finish this tray of three purple and three orange, um, you know, by the end of the year, I think that's doable, but we will see how far I get. And then the other product I have is, um, this was from a winter collection. It is the naked body lotion, which I really enjoy, but it's much more of like a body oil. Again, really, really nice product. Um, it's kind of one of those things where it melts on your skin, so I can't hold it for too long because it's starting to melt under my fingertips. But this is something that I will keep at home and I want to use after the shower. I'm usually an evening shower, um, but it is really nice and it feels nice on the skin and I'm very happy with it. I just kind of forget about it. So this is something I would like to make a priority and keep using. So those are the products I'm going to be focusing on. I hope you guys are excited to kind of see my progress and hear how my updates go. 
Um, if you are working on any sort of use it up or project pan or something like that, please let me know down below. I definitely still enjoy watching them, even though I haven't been producing much content that way recently, but I'm definitely still interested to see how you guys are doing. So, um, like I said, let me know down below how often you'd like to see updates from me. If it's, you know, once a month at once every other month, whatever you prefer, um, I'd like to hear about it so I can kind of figure out what my timing should be for these updates. But yeah, that is kind of it. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.